Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 499. I'm your host, Thomas Sanzo, and we got a show for you this week. Wow, it's been a while. Um, so let's hop right into it. Um, here we go. Quantum Stories My Little Pony Virtual Magic trailer release and pre-orders open. Um, this news has been waiting in the backlog for a while now, so... Um, Dates may vary, but anywho, um, Quantum uh, Quantum Stories has released a full trailer, showing off what we can expect in their V um, XR books, uh, creating a hybrid between augmented reality and traditional books, with activations on the page for the actual 3D stuff. The show uh, this shows of what exactly you can expect if you pick one up it's actually really impressive with what they have available uh, even if their tech is so new uh, check out the video blah 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 uh, pre-orders august okay you can order it now i guess so um i've seen the video and what they what they do is pretty impressive uh, let's see, that's um, just basically the product, but I, I guess we can read this. Uh, ever wonder what it would be like to visit uh, modern day Equestria? Well, now you can with the world's first quantum movie novel, My Little Pony Virtual Magic. XR goggles included, pass through augmented reality, immersive uh, virtual reality. Uh, let's click this. Where's that? Yeah, let's click this and see what we, uh, what they show us. Ah, uh, it's an Amazon page. Forty dollars. Uh, in stock. I guess you can buy it now. <clears throat> uh, okay. I guess this is what we clicked. And this and stuff. Okay. So, long story short, what they're presenting to us is. Uh, the app and what you use is your phone, um, preferably any newer phone like a iPhone 10 or higher or if you're using an Android, probably one of those new fancy dangle um, Androids. <clears throat> they have the goggles and if you take a look, see at how they um, design it, it's very interesting because uh, you slip your phone in the front and your cameras uh, showing off or your cameras there so you can kind of uh, scan the page or whatever it is and your eyes are looking at the lens um this spot here uh, this hole that's very fascinating because why would they create it that way um, is there any specific thoughts, reasons, or design features that we're not, uh, honestly, I got no idea. Yeah, so this is a good example of how it would look like with the phone on. Um, I'm guessing that they're using an iPhone 10 or 11. So yeah, that, there's a good example. Um, but overall, um, what you get out of this is pretty cool. It's the how do I put this? Um, it's the way that they're introducing um, traditional media versus uh, traditional media intertwined with modern tech and stuff. And uh, from what I seen of the book from trailers and whatnot, is that you're in the seat of oh goody who is purple horse name here um man i am drawing a blank on her name <laughs> my bad um you know what i've i'm i haven't watched a lot of g1 so i got no sorry g5 so i got no idea who her name is easy yes easy yeah so um you're in the seat of easy looking through uh, the world through her eyes so that's kind of an interesting story. 
um, for forty dollars. That's not bad. Like it's, it's uh, no import fees, deposit, and well, I could probably try this if I want to. So yeah. So um, honestly speaking, this is kind of an interesting gadget that I would try and test out and see how well it works. But uh, I like the concept, but I got no idea if it's going to wow me. You know what I mean? Um, but overall, it's it's a very interesting tool, toy, or whatever it is, because the idea of introducing traditional media with um, modern take on it with the goggles and whatnot. I wonder if anything else did that before. Hmm. Well, I'm sure there is, but I not privy to it, or I I don't remember. So, yeah, let's move on to the next news. Next news is, <clears throat> <sighs> <clears throat> I I am the one who put this in, and I am the one that forgot about the to uh, topic and whatnot, and. Reminding, oh god. Alright, <clears throat> let's hop in. Possible NFTs coming for My Little Pony. Oh, <coughs> oh boy. Oh, that's just some dirty talk. Ah. Oh, we've got a bit of unfortunate news this morning coming from a new trademark application from Hasbro for their overall My Little Pony brand. They filed to add My Little Pony logo to host a new electronic base thing with one specific listing uh, calling out NFTs, non-fungible tokens. We have already have Funko dropping the NFT bomb on us with something beyond convoluted for the collectors out there. Hopefully this isn't one of those uh, sorry. Hopefully this isn't one is too intrusive. Um you can find the listing over here. Seth, did you took out the huh. Alright so um let's break it down. Let's break it down. Okay um First things first, MNFT sucks. The market for it has dropped like crazy and it's losing money instead of gaining money. So yeah, NFT sucks. But let's look on the brightest side of things, like how I usually do and back in the days when I was cheerful and happy. Uh, it could be that Hasbro is doing this to cover their IP because of how rampant um, NFT equates to stealing and whatnot. So Hasbro might have done this just to say that, hey, we got the trademark and copyright for the My Little Pony logo or, uh, yes, it says logo, for the My Little Pony logo on the whatever it is, even if they don't do nothing. So if somebody tries to mint it, Hasbro could come down and sue your ass. So this is the positive side of it where they're preventing somebody from stealing their stuff. The negative side of it is that they thought, hey, this is a good idea. Why not just make it and people will buy it for thousands, thousands, and we can make the money and whatnot. Uh, that sounds no, just no. But I'm hoping it's the thing that I said earlier that was very positive. Yay! <clears throat> Last bit of news: new generation for My Little Pony perfume appears. Japan continuing its G4 merchandising with a brand new line of perfumes, each dedicated to a different Moon Six Pony. Rainbow Dash gets a citrus smell. Rarity aims for a more floral scent. Pinkie Pie is fruity. Uh, Flutters, uh, Flutters joins Rarity with flowers. And Applejack 
teams up with Twilight on the vague description unless we found a way to smell ember sunshine and musk magic yeah um each of them is 6600 yen and can be found over on this site so um, actually let's go to japan um yay that's so bright i got no idea who is this who who what company uh village vanguard um of hmm okay that didn't help me at all so anywho i have a friend who works in a boutique uh, that sells um perfumes and whatnot and they tell me that a uh, certain smell works with certain people and certain people like certain smells um they told me that my fragrance is more of a woody kind of smell, um, more masculine stuff. So, hey, okay, uh, that's cool. And they also told me that my mom likes more sweet scented, more floral fragrance and so on. So, um, fragrance is there and it makes sense, yay. Yeah. Um, I'm not 100% sure how ponies is. So, eh. But, it'll be interesting to test out. I, I, one thing I got no idea here is the company that's making the fragrance. Uh, I, I got no idea who made it because if we have a general arrow that says, Oh, uh, this company uh, makes the fragrance. So, I could just ask them and say hey do you, do you know who um, makes this fragrance or the company or the, and you have a sample so maybe there we can uh, kind of just compare and so on but no nah, no nah, um this like we, we got no uh, I, I got no idea who maybe it's village vanguard probably maybe they're the company that's making the fragrance and so on so yeah, um, honestly speaking, if you are from Japan or bought stuff from Japan before, you could probably try this one and see how it goes. Maybe, maybe it would be nice. Maybe, maybe the smell is ponyish, so you can smell like Twilight or Applejack, or maybe Pinkie Pie or Fluttershy or Rarity and Rainbow Dash. Who knows? Maybe you can buy all three and spray all, <laughs> spray all of them at the same time, and you smell. <laughs> Horrible, I guess. Don't do that. Don't, don't mix fragrance really nearly. There's there's a science to it. Oh boy, it's been a while. Um, so yeah, uh, let's move on to the next topic. Next topic is what have I been doing my week? And honestly speaking, um, I know the the podcast hasn't really come been coming out uh, on a bi weekly on a weekly basis like before. Uh, it's just that it's just that getting news is a bit difficult sometimes. Like just getting the news to talk about that I can tell you guys or just show you guys all stuff. It's a bit difficult. Um, but at, at least I have stuff next week, so yay, I, I've been keeping a bit for next week, so yay, that's going to be good. Uh, that's going to be what, the 500 episode, wow. And the, the thing is, um, the, the 500 episode could have come sooner-ish if I was doing it on a regular uh, weekly basis, but because lack of news and stuff has been um, holding me back, so I'm just doing this when there's a few news to cover. Um, like I promise you guys, uh, three is the minimum. So I've been collecting them and next week's news is going to be interesting. I, I do hope that we get more to add to the list. But anywho, um, let's get back to what I have been doing. Um, honestly speaking, uh, just work and so on. 
uh, nothing new to add to whatever entertainment I've been watching. Um, haven't been watching any movies really. Uh, Thor wasn't shown in Malaysia, so didn't watch that. I um, recently watched She Hulk. That was fun. Uh, besides She Hulk, I've been reading a little comic, Didi. Um, a manga mostly. And the manga is called. Give me a second to check it out. Uh, oh wow, this is gonna be fun. Um, is there no English for this? Because I don't want to talk about it in its Japanese text. Okay. Ah, oh, yes. Here you go. <clears throat> the manga I'm reading is. I was reincarnated as the seventh prince so I can take my time perfecting my magical abilities. That is a mouthful. Wow. So yeah, um this is a fun little comic. Um it came out uh or it originally ran as a novel series, but since I'm reading the manga, uh it came out on June twenty seventh, twenty twenty. And I recently found it via Facebook because people were sharing it and um, read it and it was kind of fun. So yeah, um, sorry. Uh, it seems like, hey, I already read this chapter. Uh, new chapters out, I already read it. Uh, what else? Um, that, that was fun. Uh, other than that, I think much. Uh, in terms of animes or cartoons I've been watching, Funny enough, I, I'm watching Ruby, uh, the new one. Well, not really the new one. The Japanese um, remake. I I don't know how about how you describe that one, but um, essentially it's just Ruby, and I am getting why people are enjoying it. The story is fun. The characters are interesting, and yeah, uh, there is. It's overall a great show, so yeah. Um, I heard a lot about the negatives from the creators and so on, but not gonna talk about that because I got no, I don't know much. But anywho, let's wrap things up. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at thembsshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at the show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also, Stitcher Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyRive.com. Links will be in the show notes. Uh, also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you're going to catch me, Silver Quill, Tatera, Jacob, and friends reviewing Pony episodes, comics movie specials uh, and more I think there should be more uh, if we don't review ponies we like to review other things cartoons, animes, comics, mangas, video games and movies so yay uh, we, we, do a, we do a variety of stuff um, next I think yeah this week uh, this week's going to be a bit special I think yeah, this week's going to be a bit special because I've done something new and it's going to premiere um, this week. I would like your feedback and see what you think because um, honestly, it's something that I haven't done before. And also, Jacob really wanted to push it. So, we'll see how it goes. If it's successful and you guys like it, uh, we can do more and if you want us to try something else i i don't mind so anyway um hey and also please uh, no if you would like to support the show you can do so at patreon.com session bs show with every support we get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content and a huge thank you from me talking about thank yous i would like to thank jacob lucky knight jeffrey Master of Like and Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the BS Show. See ya!